I've just come back from Australia. <laughs> Thanks, it's great to be back. <laughs> While I was there, I learned some Aborigine words, like uh, boo, <laughs> which means to return. Because when you throw an ordinary meringue, <laughs> I've just come back from Holland. <laughs> Thanks, it's great to be back. <laughs> While I was there, I was in a fish restaurant. A bloke on the table next to me began to cough. I ignored him. Then he began to choke. I still ignored him. Then he began to choke really, really badly. So in the end, I stood up and I smacked him on the back really hard. Anyway, it turns out he was just speaking Dutch. <laughs> that works with Welsh as well, if you want to say that. <laughs> so I phoned up the spiritual leader of Tibet. <laughs> and he sent me a large goat with a long neck. Turns out I'd phoned Dalai Lama. <laughs> Do you ever have a conversation with someone and towards the end they say, well, I'll let you go. <laughs> and you think, yeah, thanks. <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying. You're trying to make me think that you think that I've got better things to do. <laughs> but in reality, you're saying that you've got better things to do. <laughs> well, next time someone says to you, I'll let you go, say... No! <laughs> Shut the door. If they make a sudden dive for the window, grab them by the ankles. <laughs> and as they're dangling four stories above the car park, screaming, this has all been a terrible mistake. <laughs> so, okay, I'll let you go. <laughs> if they make it illegal to wear the veil at work, beekeepers are gonna be furious. <laughs> The pollen count. That's a difficult job. <laughs> Especially if you've got hay fever. <laughs> One sneeze, you have to start again. <laughs> I didn't have a very good summer last year. I set up a clinic for colonic irrigation. But the hosepipe ban hit us hard. <laughs> think, isn't it, that every single Scotsman started off as a Scotch egg. <laughs> Cold and gingery. <laughs> Any Scotsman here? <laughs> yeah, I've got a bit of Scottish blood myself uh, on a kitchen knife. <laughs> I enjoy playing Scottish music on my oh iPod. <laughs> I'm very English, really. I even ordered a book on the internet, How to Have Absolutely Nothing to Do with Your Neighbours. <laughs> Unfortunately, I was out when it was delivered. <laughs> Militant feminists. I take my hat off to them, they don't like that. <laughs> Old ladies in wheelchairs with blankets over their legs, I don't think so. <laughs> Retired mermaids. The worst job I ever had, of course, uh, was forensic pathologist for the United Nations. I remember uncovering the mass grave of a thousand snowmen. <laughs> Fortunately, it turned out to be a field full of carrots. <laughs> Well, it's been great to be here. Uh, to be honest, uh, people say that as well, don't they? they think, what do you mean, to be honest? I mean, everything you've been saying so far <laughs> hasn't been honest. Well, how can we trust what you're going to say now? 
Anyway, you've been a great audience, uh, but to be honest... <laughs> I'll let you go. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> My life hasn't been entirely wasted. After all, I was the man who discovered DNA. <laughs> uh, I wasn't going to call it that, but I was giving a lecture to the Royal Society. I said, gentlemen, I believe I've discovered the genetic fingerprint of all human life. ta -da! <laughs> That's all for me, thank you very much, good night.